Hey there GoPro users, I've got a Hero 2 which is up to date. If you look here at my screen I've got 8.12.222 firmware version and I did do this update via the Cineform Studio software. Um, it does show that it's up to date. It was done the way it was supposed to be done. However, there is a bug that if I set my camera to the one button on mode and my memory card happens to be about two-thirds or three-fourths the way full the camera will only record one or two or maybe three seconds before it stops recording. Uh, if the memory card is empty, then I can start the recording and it'll record for a long period of time, but occasionally it'll just randomly stop recording. The camera does not turn off, but the recording does stop. The bug uh, was in the previous version, version 198, and I was able to downgrade back to version 124 or version 70 from version 198. However, now that I'm on version 222, if I try to drop back to a previous version, I get a soft brick. So that's what I want to show you guys was how to solve that problem. Uh, this is what we're going to do. We're going to actually try to downgrade the camera manually. And to do this, what I need to do is put the, uh, the older firmware on the memory card. I'm going to do that by plugging my memory card directly into my computer. So let me uh, power off the camera here. I'm just going to unplug it. I'm going to take out my memory card and I'm going to put that in my computer. Okay, so here's my memory card. Uh, I've got several versions of the firmware here. I'm actually just going to put the version 124 non-Protune version on the memory card. We're going to copy this straight over to the SD card that will be put back in my camera. Now that that's done, we're just going to quickly safe remove it from the computer. And we're going to pop this back into the camera. Now this method did work on previous versions and it's just the manual way of either upgrading or downgrading your firmware on the Hero 2. However, there is a problem when you are on version 222 and you try to do this. So this is the normal method used, but this is how we do it. We're going to hold our shutter button down, make sure it's held down firmly, and we're going to power on the camera. Now you can let go of the shutter button at this point and just press the power button. It'll say press with a 1 below it. Press it again, it'll say press 2 with a 2 below it. And now you've got what you see on the screen. It's the either downgrade or upgrade icon with the V222, meaning that's the firmware that's on there. So we're going to let the camera do its thing and try to downgrade to version 124 and show you what's going to happen because of this downgrade procedure after having version 222 on the camera. Camera automatically shuts off, shuts itself back, or turns itself back on, and all we get is the camera icon showing it's ready to record in video mode. And after a few seconds, you saw that the battery indicator with a little one next to it appears down below. At this point, neither of the buttons will cycle through the menu. I can hit the shutter button. No matter how many times I press it, nothing happens. If I hit the power button it will not go through the menu. Now I can press and hold the power button and the camera appears to turn off. However, if I press and hold the power button again, it will not turn back on. As you can see there. Well here's the interesting thing. Watch what happens when I pop my SD card out of the camera. Now it's telling me there's no SD card. Well I thought I just turned my camera off. Apparently it's not actually turning off either. So here's the solution. This is what you've got to do to get things working again. Uh, unfortunately, it does not downgrade you, but it'll at least will get you working again on version 222. So let's put the memory card back in. Again, no change on the screen. It still doesn't think there's an SD card in there. I can still press and hold the power button, and the camera will not turn off. So we're going to have to do a battery pull. Let's pull that battery out. I actually have a little piece of tape on mine. I don't know if you can see that. 
a little piece of tape that I stuck onto the back side of my battery so it's easy to take in and out, but my back cover will still fit on there no problem. Uh, this is what we're going to do. Make sure you have Cinesform Studio open. We're going to then take and plug the USB cable into the camera. And notice right here, we're getting a rapid but very dim red flashing light on the LED on the front of the camera. That's what we want to see. Now while this is happening, we're going to stick the battery back in the camera. With the battery back in the back of the camera in place, we're now going to power it on. Okay, so we see that it's actually in USB mode now and turned on properly. We do have the SD card in the camera still. Now if you come with me to my computer screen, the camera is now showing on Cineform Studio that it's got version 8.12.124 on the camera. However, our camera will not operate properly. So, if your, cam if your Cineform Studio is not showing this, just hit the refresh button and it should pop up with whatever version you last loaded. It might be 8.12.70 or 8.12.198 depending on which version you tried to downgrade to. All you have to do now is just hit the update button. Cineform Studio will download your firmware and install it to the camera. And This takes just a minute. Once the firmware is done downloading, it will now show that the firmware update is in progress. You'll notice the camera will beep and the red light will flash a few times during this process. Notice again on the screen we've got the downgrade or upgrade icon with V33 in this case. If you had version 70 on there it would be V70. The camera then turns off and wait for the Cineform Studio software's progress bar to finish before we unplug the USB cable. Again, we see the V222 after the camera is powered on. We get a flashing red LED all around the camera. And at this point, you just need to wait for the update to complete. It appeared to turn off and back on again. So just be patient. It's not in a boot loop. That was the second time that it appeared to turn off and back on. Again, this is not a boot loop. Just be patient. Okay, so we are back with the camera turned on and the firmware is working. We can check that we have the latest firmware by plugging the camera back into the USB cable and checking Cineform. It will show us that the latest firmware is on the camera. As you can see here, I can now cycle through the menu in a normal fashion. The camera will record. However, since we are on version 222, the camera will have the one button on bug as well as possibly other various bugs that still need to be worked out by GoPro. Hopefully they'll get it sorted out eventually because now I can't even downgrade my firmware to a previous version without my camera breaking. Hope this helped you guys out and good luck with your GoPros. Make some awesome videos and enjoy.